grown man business. I've got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. What is going on in Dallas? Uh, man, Dallas Cowboy fans, comment in, in the comment section, man. Tell me how y'all feel. I know, uh, you know y'all played uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the, the great, the great Tom Brady, <clears throat> and uh, it was a horrible game for the Cowboys. You know, uh, I'm not a Cowboys fan. Uh, Magic Man, you know, he grew up liking the Cowboys. Um, the Jets, New York Jets is his fan. I mean, <laughs> the New York Jets is his team because he's from New York, you know, from Brooklyn. Um, you know, I like the Jets as well, you know. Um, you know, I like the Giants as well. You know, I'm originally from New York as well, you know, Brooklyn. But um, my team is Denver Broncos, you know. No matter what, you know, growing up, I always <clears throat> went back to uh, the Denver Broncos. I always was excited about watching the Denver Broncos play, you know. Um, but at the same time, you know, there is teams I like, you know, especially back in the day, you know, Buffalo Bills, you know, with that, uh, man, that awesome electrifying offense they had, you know, uh, Jim Kelly, you know, he's a Miami Hurricane, you know, that is my college team. You know, uh, that that pretty much uh, what led me to liking uh, Buffalo Bills was uh, Jim Kelly, um, Dermot Thomas, you know, Bruce Smith, you know, um, they had a, had a they had a good squad man on the offense and the defense like it, it was crazy they just couldn't win a super bowl but um yeah so magic man he grew up liking cowboys you know you know new york jess was his number one i guess you know because of new york but uh you know he was always into the cowboys you know um when he was young so that's why he said in the video um the new york jess and the dallas cowboys you gotta pick one, so it's the Jets, but you know, he do like Cowboys. And watching that game that night against Tampa Bay, he was sick. You know, Dallas couldn't do anything. Um and, and Tampa Bay didn't they didn't even play all that great, truthfully. They didn't play play like, oh man, the NFC is in trouble. They didn't play like that. Uh I don't know who I have to think about what, what team on the NFC really played like that. Like you need to watch out for these guys. I don't know. You know, the AFC is so stacked, man. We just, so many good teams to, to look out for. You know, we got Baltimore. You got uh, Buffalo Bills, uh, uh, Denver Broncos, the Chargers, L.A. Chargers, <laughs> uh, LA, uh, uh, Las Vegas Ra uh, Raiders. I've, I'm, I'm interested to see what the Raiders have to do or what they're going to do this year um, with with my boy that came from Green Bay uh, Packers. You know, Devontae... Uh, uh, what's his name? Adams Jones. I can't think right now, but yeah. So I'm, I'm interested to see how the Raiders going to look. Um, you no know, Cincinnati. I'm, I'm interested to see how Cincinnati is going to play this year as well. Um, usually the teams that lose the Super Bowl, um, that next season, they don't do too well. Uh, they probably, you know, they might, they might make the playoffs. But well, most likely, they go th throughout the year with some bumps and bruises. Uh, if they get to the uh, if they get to the playoffs, they might get knocked out in the first, you know, the wild card or the second week or whatever. Uh, but you know, Pittsburgh, that's another team to watch out for. You never know how these teams gonna be this year. You know, uh, I know they got a quarterback situation that's that's questionable. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. Who's going to be that team on the NFC? And if y'all think one of y'all teams that's on the NFC is going to be that team this year, put it in the comment section, man. Let's talk about it. You know, um, I'm going to do a, a video. I'm probably going to do a video tomorrow uh, through the scores and everything. I know I said I was going to do it uh, today, but I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm up about, it's going to be the second video I upload today. I'm going to slow my videos down soon because I want uh, – I want the views to go up on my on my video so i'm not gonna just gonna be overloading because i know back in the day when i first started the channel i was just flooding 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 youtube with my videos i'm not gonna do it like that this time around um i know i'm gonna try to do 
at least one video every day but past couple days i've been doing multiple videos one or two maybe three on some of them but we're gonna make a ride like that you know <clears throat> so back on the cowboys yeah they, they had a bad game they didn't play that well i, I don't know uh big zeke Ezekiel Elliott, he's uh he looked good you know look like he's in shape you know look like he's focused you know i just i, I don't know man he been, the past two seasons have been kind of quiet with him. And I like Zeke. I don't want to dog him. I don't want to say too much about, too much bad about him. Because uh, you got to look at the offensive line as well. But uh, hopefully he'll have a big season. Now with the quarterback situation, Dak um, Prescott, we all know he got hurt. He hurt his thumb. Hit, uh, I think he hit his thumb on the defender's helmet. It looked like it was the hand. But I think it was maybe a combination of both. Uh, looked like he jammed it. I believe they had, I believe he had surgery yesterday. And it looks like he's going to be out for about four to six weeks. I know, I know Cowboy fans, I know. Not again, not again. Stephen A. Smith is going to have a field day with y'all. Already know. But um, I, I want to see, I want to see Dallas do, do something this year. I'm going to be honest. I want you know, every year, Everybody's talking about Dallas Cowboys. Oh, this year's gonna be. I want to see them do it, you know, because they got the guys. They have the players. The on the defense, Diggs. He's still there as a cornerback. He's still a dangerous, dangerous fella. Um, running back core. Uh, they got a good tight end. Quarterback is good. You know, we don't know who's gonna be the backup quarterback. Um, how how the backup? Excuse me. We don't know how the backup quarterback is gonna play these next few weeks. We will see. But um, the defense. You know, the defense. Played pretty good, you know. I didn't see nothing outstanding for the defense, but they played pretty good, you know. Um, just need Dallas to get together, you know. They just one of them teams that every year they have high expectations, and for the past <laughs> five seasons, at least, at least, it's been um, you know disappointment. And I, I, I hate it for the, the Cowboy fans, man, because they like one of the biggest diehard Cowboy fans football fans in the world, you know, um, they like Seattle fans, they like Pittsburgh fans, I mean, they're just dedicated and loyal to the Cowboys, man, and they deserve to have some type of success, you know, um, whether they make it to the playoffs or make it to the Super Bowl, win a Super Bowl, they, they deserve a little something, you know, um, I'm not a Cowboys fan, me personally, um, but at the same time, there's a lot of players over there, a lot of good players, you know, so... I want to see them do. I want to see them do good. You know, Dak Prescott. I, le I like Dak Prescott. I liked him when he was with uh, was it Mississippi State in, in college. You know, and um, I was so happy when he went to the Cowboys. And Cowboys has a black quarterback. That's big to me. And um, and I think he kind of like. I won't say he started the wave of black quarterbacks, but it, it kind of flooded after him. You know, we started getting black quarterbacks. You know frequently on a regular you know so you know it's time for uh it's time for Dak to, Dak Prescott to have a big year man these mosquitoes are still messing with me but uh <laughs> man but um yeah I want him to have a, a real good good season man because he got you know he got paid he got the money now and it's time to show and prove you know it's not his fault on some on some of the situations you know we he had an interception where it bounced off of a defense, uh, one of his uh, wide receivers, and they got an interception, and you know, stuff like that happened. But um, man, what is going on in Dallas? I, I want to know, man. I want to know. What's, is it too much pressure from Jerry Jones? You know, y'all got a y'all got a coach now. Y'all have a coach. You see what he did with uh, Green Bay? When well, he got a Super Bowl ring, took excuse me, he took him to the uh, playoffs. And uh, there was one play away or one game away from the Super Bowl one or two times in his career before he left after winning the Super Bowl. So he has a great, now I ain't going to say great, he has a good resume. He's a solid coach, you know. Uh, I won't be mad if he was coaching my team, you know, because we know what type of results he he bring. And um, I don't know, man. I think it's that, 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 that disconnect comes from the office. I think it starts with the office and it ends with the office. You know, Jerry Jones all down to 
<laughs> the janitor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we got Dick Prescott. He is uh, out for the next four to six weeks due to uh, his thumb injury. He had surgery. Everything was a success as far as that surgery. Just need him to come back. Oh, man, it's just... It just sucks, man. After the first game, you get hurt. T.J. Watt, he just got hurt as well. So I'm watching him closely as well. Look like he's going to be out maybe six or four to six weeks as well. They talking about a possible whole season. I hope not, man. That would be, man, that would be just heartbreaking for that guy to get that big contract, that payday, got what he deserved, and turn around and get hurt, man. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the um, Pittsburgh Steelers, you know. But you know, sometimes it happens like that, man. It's a physical game. You know, things happen, man. You know, just like wrestling. You know, WWE, WWF, and all that other stuff. These guys, they, they sacrifice their bodies, and sometimes you get hurt. And um, just got to learn how to work around that. But uh, I hate seeing, you know, your, your favorite players. I hate seeing the favorite players get hurt. You know, and seeing them on the sideline in, in street clothes, I, I hate that. Man. You be looking forward to watching the game and watching these guys play, and they on the sideline. So, it's going to be heartbreaking for that Dick Prescott, for the fans to watch Dick Prescott on the sideline for four to six weeks. Same with T.J. Watt on the sideline in street clothes for four to six weeks. So hopefully, I hope T.J. Uh, Watt comes back. Um, they say he might need surgery. I, don't, I, I haven't got a confirmation yet whether he's going to have surgery or not. I know Dick Prescott, he had his surgery and everything was good with that, so he's going to be out for those four to six weeks and uh, hopefully he'll come back strong you know it's kind of tricky with that hand with that thumb we, we all remember how Drew Brees was when he came back and it was a little difficult for him to even grip the ball much less throw the ball so you know plus he had you know broken ribs as well but that's a whole nother story all right Cowboy fans get in this comment section man tell me what y'all think and what's going on with Dallas What's going on with the Cowboys, baby? Uh, Jerry Jones, do he just need to take the, the back seat, let his son take over and run the team or what, man? But, um, but, um, yeah. Tell me what y'all think, man. It's just heartbreaking. I hate, I, I hate to hear injuries like this already in the first game. And, you know, it is what it is sometimes. Physical game, man. It's a physical game. All right. Hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, hit the notif notification bell. Holla at your boy, man. Let's grow this channel, man. Uh, we all on the rise, baby. We're going up. And this is free, man. Just remember that. All oh, this is free. Don't cost you a, a penny. You know, it's free to watch me. It's free to hit that like button. It's free to hit that subscribe button. It's free to share. You're doing it anyway. It's, it's Man, it's free to hit that notification bell. Man, show your boy some love, man. This is Red Ghost, man. Ready to go sports talk, man. It's football season, baby. Let's talk. Let's talk about football. Yeah, I want to know who your team is. So I can start breaking down your team and talking about your players. And, and we can have this discussion, man. It's a lot of football to talk about, baby. Get at me. Grown man business.